Hola YouTube, what you know? My name is Domino with the Zero and welcome to episode 36 of our relatively new Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play where we're doing everything that the game has to offer the most in-depth in Let's Play on YouTube. In the last episode we explored the little poison power plant above my, uh, Mali City um, and then we took on all of Route 10 here. If you want to check that out, make sure you click the i-card up at the top of the screen. In today's episode, we're making our way to the top of Mount Haukulani, and unless there's a lot of changes, I think we're going to be trying to take on the next trial in today's episode, which is wild to think about, because I've only grown like two levels on each, po two or three levels on each Pokemon since the last one. So we might, might actually finally get blown away today. We'll find out. But if you're excited for more Pokemon Ultra Moon, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. Been hearing a lot of good stuff about this series. A lot of people enjoying it. The views have been okay. I mean, they've been pretty good compared to what we usually do. But I do want to try and grow that out. And I appreciate your help so far. And of course, all the support. Um, let's go ahead and start off with a quick team recap. Since um, we're about to take on a trial, we can do a full team recap. First up, we have Lindsay, our special level 30 Lycanroc. Uh, Dusk form with Rock Tomb, Bite, Thunder Fang, Thrash, holding the Rock EMZ. Then we have Negative Vibes, our level 30 Pokeball Eating Snorlax with Body Slam, Brick Break, Defense Curl, and Amnesia, holding the Leftovers. I should probably change his name to Negative Vibes, the MVP, because he's won like three of our trials so far by himself. Then we have Jet, our favorite, the level 30 Umbreon with Assurance, Bite, Quick Attack, and Sand Attack, holding the Amulet Coin. We have Aru Kenimon, our level 30 pet, the Araquidid, with Leech Life, Bubble Beam, Infestation, and Bite Hole in the Water EMZ. We have Buttons, our starter to the level 30, Dartrix with Razor Leaf Pluck, Tackle, and Ominous Wind, or in the Miracle Seed. And lastly, we have Frisco, our um, mascot, the level 30 Oracorio, with Air Cutter, Peck, Pound, and Teeter Dance holding the Sharpie. That's our team now. We are going to keep leading with Lindsay. We're going to go ahead and talk to Kukui. Do me a favor and go check out the bus stop to, s to see when the next one's coming, would you? There's a bus stop here. Do you want to wait and catch the bus to the Hokulani Observatory? Yes, I do. Welcome to the Executor Express. I have a feeling I missed a totem sticker. I just have a feeling. I just have this feeling. Over here. All right, show me what you got, Kukui. Show me what you got, Kukui. Mount Hokulani is the second tallest mountain in Alola, and the tallest. Check it out, Domino. See that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. It's a sacred spot, yeah? The closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola. It's said to be the Moon Incarnate. That's right, right there, on the peak of Lanakila. That's where I'll establish our Pokemon League. We'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges, yeah! And up there on the peak of M Mount Lanakila, they'll battle against the Kahunas to become the Island Challenge Champion. I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the world will recognize. It's time to get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Island Challenge Champion to the World Champion. And then, when we have our own champion, they can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alolan Pokemon and their trainers, yeah! Yeah, okay. All right, Rotom. Thank you. Thank you for your input, Rotom. Thank you, Rotom. My gosh, I prefer set style. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Rotom. I'm just trying to tap your eyes. You'll stop moving around. Still, maybe. Man, Rotom just takes up so much time like it's a we're already four, four and a half minutes in oh hello hello aloha you know there's this pokemon called miniore it comes down from space like a shooting star and the core is a 
these mini ores seem to shine in a number of different colors. They don't seem to be regional variants, but it's an interesting phenomenon nonetheless. Here, I've got something good for you. Gives us a moon ball. I hope you're trying to complete your Pokedex for Rotom's sake as well. You know, I don't think I'm doing anything for Rotom. Like, I'm not doing anything I'm doing for Rotom. It is all for me. How do I get back here? Oh, it's right here. Found a level ball. Oh, I suppose. This ugly camera angle. The peak of Mount Hokulani is the second closest place to space in a low. Pokemon are in space too? Wow! Yeah, there's just one called Deoxys. He'll kill you. Okay, really? Wow, what a shame. What a shame. So many missed opportunities. All right. Who wants what Pokemon in here? I relax here at the Poke uh, at the cafe while my partner takes it easy off in Pokepelago. Ah, what a life. I love having the cafe space in the PMC. Drinks normally cost an arm and a leg up on the mountain, you know. Welcome to Pokemon Center. It's 8 o'clock. What can I get started for you today? You can get started in absolute nothing. Pokemon storage system. I don't care. Why does everybody always talk about Bill? Why are they all talking about Bill? Every single person talks about Bill. Nobody ever buys those kind of items. I haven't used any items in the episodes I've recorded today. This is the sixth episode I've recorded to- Holy crap, I've been recording all day. Anyway. <laughs> um, nobody uses those items. Nobody. 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 Alright, before we head in, because I know where we're supposed to go. Obviously, we're supposed to go talk to that guy sitting up there. Sorry, youngster, but I can't fight you. My Pokemon are like brothers to me. They're not interested in battling weaklings. If you want me to ask them to fight you, then beat all the trainers on Mount Hokulani. Whoa! I was watching the parabolic antenna, and I found a trainer. You know, I'm kind of offended that that guy called me a weakling. Just like, to my face. Just like, not a care in the world, you're a weakling. And you sent out a Clefairy, so... And you're level 30. I'm just gonna go with the regular old Rock 2. It did 5 points of damage. Perfect. And I should out. I would imagine. Oh wait, I do already outspeed. What was I thinking? Something was going through my head. I don't know what. Something was going through my head. This should kill. Okay, good. It's weird because like I'm getting boosted experience, but I'm still. Oh, that guy. I get boosted experience, but I'm still under level or just on par. And it's I haven't skipped a single trainer. I mean, maybe I mean, maybe I've skipped like going into those restaurants and stuff. Oh, I forgot to do Pelago stuff today. Thanks to Pokémon's help, I can patrol even the peak of the mountain. Only one trainer. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Listen up, trainer. Battle is a hiker's favorite. I'm smacking you up. You're probably gonna send out a rock type, aren't you? Or a fighting type. You definitely are. Ooh, look at this Geo dude. Uh, let's switch into 
Negative vibes? I don't really have anything for rock types. I mean, I guess I have... I don't really have too much for rock types. Or electric types, really. But, I do have this. Wait a minute, is this our first Alolan Geodude to see? I think it is, actually. Well, don't worry, because we'll be seeing one very soon. Very soon. Wait. Does that mean I can catch him here? Hold on, let me take a look. Let me take a look at where I can catch this. I would just... Okay, fine. Uh, where is he? Habitat unknown. Wait, what if you can't catch him? That would ruin everything. What the actual... What is this golfer doing down there? What the... What the... Okay, Pokemon. This guy was not in the original Sun and Moon. That's awesome. I don't know, that, that's just cool. And look at this. Look at this. I get to see a mini or Just like, just chilling? Fields down. Wait, so is this thing only... I'm gonna Z-move him, straight up. I'm gonna Z-move him, straight up. It's like, not very effective. I'm a little worried that this is not gonna be very effective. Or it's going to blow him away. Or it's going to absolutely blow him away. He has another mini ore. I'm just going to keep battling. Type is Minior. What type? I thought Minior was. Please do enough damage. Okay. I thought for sure that Minior was. Okay, I'm switching. I could have switched into... Oh, you know what? I could have switched into buttons. So is this how Minior... Didn't Minior used to only appear in shields form when it had shields down? That rollout. I was afraid of rollout. Ouch. Lower its speed! Lower its speed! Goes down, deactivates. Oh, it's still faster than me. This might, this might really hurt. Woo! Almost. Almost took me out. Very close. But not close enough. All right. Four! That was really cool. I, I, I like that. I like having that trainer be way far... I haven't done a lot of Pokey Finder stuff.
Okay, I, I was, I'm assuming that he wasn't going to do anything else. I mean, that's not, that's not bad. That's not bad. What else you can find here? Hold on. Anything else? You literally have to move. It's so funny. It's like... It's like they know that nobody's gonna want to do it, so they try to put the options... They try to put the options to, like, get out of it, like, hidden somewhere. It's a little wild if you stop to think about it. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm gonna imagine this could be the last trainer. Also, I just realized I'm leading with my level 32. I did not mean to do that. I meant to spread out the... I meant to spread it out. Also, this is a Passimian. I'm gonna switch into Oracorio. I still haven't taught Psychic to... But why would I teach Psychic to Umbreon? Actually, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go into Buttons. But why would I... I w I've been thinking about teaching Psychic to Umbreon, but Umbreon... loses to fighting types. Wow, that's a lot. Wow. Okay, that's not gonna work. I really need this thing to evolve. Like... Thinking about our full team, I really think that Dartrix is the weakest. Now, Dartrix is also the only one that can evolve, or that still needs to evolve. But like, watch this. Frisco? Frisco doesn't play around. Frisco doesn't play. Frisco doesn't play. Frisco no pleo. Oranguru. I will switch. I'm gonna go into Jet. I'm gonna let Jet handle this Oranguru. If that is his real name. If that is his real name. Uh, let's go with Bite, because I don't think he's gonna go before me. You have. Nasty pie. Ugh. Yeah, you psychic, Oranguru. I'm, I'm very terrified of your psych. Did you just... Did you just nasty plot paint attack? I don't think that's how that works. That's how that works, my guy. I'm the max potion. What else did I find? Well, it's a tropical region, but mountain peaks can be cold. I'm so smart, I brought Magmar with me. Thanks for choosing the Executive Express. Want to ride down to stop at the base. Alright, well, let's make our way back up to Heat Bill. I feel like this route is longer than it was in the original games. I feel like there were much more trainers to take on. There was obviously that golf area. The more I play through this game, like, don't get me wrong. I really like this game. I really do. But this is what the original Sun and Moon should have been. And I'm pretty sure that Pokemon Company knows that as well. I have a feeling that Sun and Moon just weren't ready. But that's just me. I could be completely. Let's lead Buttons, because Lindsay is level 32. I think Lindsay's going to be our most important member in this next trial. Are you the one who defeated all the trainers on Mount Holukani uh, then? Okulani then? Alright then, fair enough. I like kids with a bit of pep. I'll be using my Z power against you. You ready for a scuffle? Go! Sorry, kid, but my Pokemon don't know the meaning of the word moderation. Yeah, but your Pokemon suck. Go. Veteran Akira. 
has a Alolan version. You're gonna be using a dark type Z move. Let's go. Let's go into negative vibes. He's the only one that can really handle dark type. Ooh, and we predicted that fake out too. That did so much. Why did fake out do so much? The Snorlax not have big defense. Does he just have like a lot of hit points or something? Like, I'm very confused. I thought Snorlax was supposed to be a bulky Pokemon. Is he just specially bulky? Is he just specially bulky? Is that what it is? I really don't know. I honestly don't know the answer. You're a little too late to use Screech. I, I, I see where you're going there. You were expecting me to heal. But I predicted your prediction and went for a prediction. Alright, good. Buttons is growing. We need Buttons to get to Decidueye. Absol. I will not switch. You kill me in one hit, as I imagine you might. Oh, I'm definitely gonna die. Black Hole Eclipse. How did I know you were going to do that? How did I know? I knew for a fact that Snorlax was going to hang on with one. I wasn't even worried about it. Let's go into... Button? Can Buttons handle this? I have no idea if Buttons can... Go for Razor Leaf. Buttons is weak. He's so weak. So weak. God, it's frustrating. Let's go for this. Got a bit of a leech life here. Or we're gonna just lose. Okay. Some of my Pokemon don't suck. Wild, man. Negative Ives grows to level 31. Waves of emotion swell. I'm so frustrated with losing that I want to scream. You, you've got some good Pokemon, kid. Thanks for showing my brothers a good time. Here's your thanks. Snarl, huh? Okay, so I should heal, and then I should head towards the room. We're already 24 minutes in. Doing a totem battle could potentially double the episode length, depending on how long it is. I don't think I'm feeling that. I don't think I'm feeling that. Go away here. Hey there! Who will his voice be? You're still as fired up as ever, eh, Royal? Ha, ah, Domino, let me introduce you. This is Molain. He runs the observatory here and also manages PC boxes. But he's not Ho uh, Hokulani's captain. But I was the captain once, my masked friend. Domino, right? Thanks for coming all the way up Hokulani to visit us. Our captain, Sophocles, is a rather busy young man, I'm afraid. Always calculating comments past or updating that festival plaza thingy of his. If you wanted to be introduced to the Masked Royale, though, well, that's something I could definitely help you with right here and now. 
Yeah, I think he's even stronger than we were at this point of our island challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kukui. Who's this mass royale you're talking about? Just think about... Just think about that favor I asked you. Yeah, Molain? I want you to seriously consider it. I guess I should head back to Mali Garden. Even how should be done eating Malaxadas by now, yeah? I'll make sure he makes it up here, too. That guy's as interesting as ever. My old buddy. Here's a little something to remember our meeting by, Domino. Just gives me Steely MZ. Out of nowhere, gives me Steely MZ. I have not pulled up my notes this whole... Uh... This whole time, I have not pulled up my notes. Now I'm in episode 36. Adding... That's the first thing that's changed on the layout, I guess, since I've been... Whoops. I wonder if you saw that. I doubt it. But anyway. Behold! That's the easiest one. We'll probably use that at some point. Also, I just realized I'm not centered. How long have I not been centered? Cutting sharpness. Unyielding power. Yes, this is the move that uses them both. And it's what you need to know to draw forth the Steel Z power. I gathered these Z crystals when I was on my own island challenge back in my own day, adventuring with Kukui and my Pokemon in search of strength. We should go ahead and use it now. Now, go on inside and tour our observ observatory as you like. If you're ready for the real trial, Captain Sophocles can be found in the head's office. Ooh. Okulani Observatory can view distant planets and galaxies with the help of Pokemon like Toga tomorrow and Charge of of course. Thank you! I guess it's time to feed you guys. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to talk to all these people. Take this to commemorate your visit to the observatory and keep a bit of spare space with you. Or keep a bit of space with you. Uh, sorry. I got distracted. I need four more. Oh, goodness. Use different waves such, such as infrared rays and radio waves to detect celestial bodies. Modern astronomical telescopes are basically like amazingly good digital cameras, you know? We don't really look through them at space so much as we have them take photos of space so that we can see what's happening up there. Blanking out. Hey, what is this magnitude of a star that's ten times brighter than a fifth magnitude? Sorry that I asked you such a difficult question. Take this as my apology. There's nothing difficult about that except that you said the number ten and spelled out fifth. Alright, you're not gonna trick me. I know it's right over here. Oh, it was right there. I almost walked away. They actually hid that one decently well. Now, what about the one that's this way? Old Mulane and Sophocles are as thick as, are thick as thieves. They're up all day and night, playing games together and whatever else they do. It's amazing that they still manage to get their work done, but it's not easy for the rest of us. Why is this door looking all... Oh, hold on. I don't want to take on the trial just yet, but I don't think this is the trial room. Can I answer this room too? Yeah, I think that's the trial room. Locked by a security system. Oh, okay. All right, well then let's go ahead and stop right here. I think that's more than enough for today's episode. We did make our way up here to Ho uh, Mount Hokulani, um, where we then took on a whole bunch of trainers I'm um, doing the totem of this Mount Hokulani uh, little part up here. In the next episode, we will go in here and take on Sophocles, who... I'm not super excited to see. Sophocles is not my favorite character. But if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. We can make it. We can make it to be the best. But I'm definitely going to need your help to do so. And I appreciate your support so far. We'll see you in the next episode of our Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.